So I tried to, I was trying to, I was going to say, this part is split, but it's kind of hard to do that and play. But um, yeah, without it, without it coming through, I'll show you guys, without it coming through the PA too loud, it kind of got bright for a second, but um, this is normal neck position, clean. When you, when I created these pickups, I wanted the split position to sound like a single coil, and I think they did a pretty good job. Um, I think it was probably four years ago, my first signature model, I had to make, make a version of it with a maple board, and I just loved it, because it's got the snap, you can kind of like feel it, you know, um, and I kept talking to Rich from PRS about it, just being like, man, that's awesome, he's like, you should hear it on a bolt-on, so we started talking and talking and talking, and the mixture of that mixed with uh, my want to release a guitar that was way more affordable, but still something that I would play live. And I kind of, you know, took like a month to fill out like a notepad of ideas, you know, and finally got on a call with them and had this idea to do a, a CE24 Floyd with my pickups and move the controls back and the, the five-way, move it back. But still do the back of the neck satin, too. Um, and we came up with this guy, and it kills. We put it out with in two different colors. John has two out there in the lobby. I don't know if any of you guys got to play them, but we also slimmed the neck profile out a good bit. So super comfortable. It's really loud, like... I think I attribute that to the maple. But uh, yeah, we, I think they did a really killer job kind of taking all my ideas and making it into a guitar. And I've done two or three full tours with them now. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited. I would urge you guys to go out there and play them and check them out. I know Floyd's aren't for everybody, but you know, when you barely have to tune ever and I use them for not only for staying in tune and doing crazy, you know, stuff like that, but even in, uh, as you could probably hear in the last song, any of the. You can really kind of texture up your stuff. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions? What's up? What the hell was that slidey bit you were doing? The what? The slidey bit in the uh, here with the chorus of that drumming click. The sli oh the uh let's see. What was that? I'm using the power section in this, which still has a presence control, just out of convenience for today, so I could have all my little doodads. Yeah, it sounds amazing, actually. I, uh, I've done tour after tour running through the Archon for that, because when you're running through the power section of an Archon, it still has a, like a global depth and presence control. So if you feel like it's just not thick enough, that depth really thickens it up. Um, I played through one last night, actually. Forgot how chunky it was, you know. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, this one, uh, 
I'm probably going to have to pick one of those up too because <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Stock. Yeah, just just right out of the box, man. No, nah, you know, I, I thought about stuff like that years ago, you know, thought about, you know, doing the upgrades, making the blocks bigger and all that, but it's not enough of a difference for me to justify paying extra for it. You know what I mean? I think the ones right out of the box, I mean, we when we play live, it's – our songs are so long, as you can tell. Um, our songs are so long that we try to squeeze as much as we can musically. We don't talk in between songs. It's just like, and uh, I don't. Ever, the only the only reason I tune most of the time is just because I'm ADD. I just like, I'm like, oh, I guess I got to do this right now. You know what I mean? But I mean, you can. <laughs> Doesn't really go out of tune ever. Kind of awesome. What's the body wood at the back? Of that? Mahogany. It's got the uh, exposed grain because they use the S2 satin instead of the core. So it's light. Yeah, as Rich from PRS used to be their top coat manager, so he knows like everything about paint. And he told me that this guitar has the least amount of paint on it of any guitar. It's like the closest thing to actual wood you can get, which I think is kind of cool. Um, so I think it just has something to do with the, the paint, the S2 stuff. Um, I think they're twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, which is killer. They're discounted in there tonight. <laughs> yeah, anyone else have a question? What's that? It's just it's a five way, so it goes bridge, bridge split, middle, which is both, uh, neck split, neck. I try to keep it simple, like what what you would think it would be. You know what I mean? Um, This is a 25 inch scale, you know, traditional PRS scale length. Um, we, ever since the start of the band, we have been in C sharp standard. And yeah, the, our whole discography is in that tuning. Um, and it, we use a custom string gauge. It's 11 to 56 with a wound G. I feel like you have to have a wound G when you're tuned down or else you're, you know, like I said last night, you have a power line of a string on there. If not, you know, and you have this boing sound that doesn't ever go away. But, you know, when you have the wound G. 